Good morning. Good morning from Paradise Island. The sun is shining. Uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Hopefully the weather holds out. We're going to go try to do as many fun things as we can just in case another storm passes through. Um, we are on a wait list for uh, the cabanas, uh, which we'll find out at 9.30, but in the meantime, we are going to go grab some breakfast. Yeah, look at these jet skiers pulling in. Oh yeah. This Water is still as calm as glass. Crystal oh. clear. Look how clear it is. So, um, quick impression, Ashley. Bed, shower, amenities in the room. What do you think oh, so far? Oh my goodness. So, I always judge a hotel by the bedding. First of all, I will not stay in a hotel with a floral bedspread. Um, but the sheets here were so nice. Like I just remember rolling over in the middle of the night and being like, oh my gosh, these are such nice sheets. Um, and then the amenities, I don't know Disney. I feel like they have you beat. I forget what they're called. I'm gonna take a picture of them so I don't forget. Yeah, we'll have to drop it in the uh, video. Ask for some right extras, but. They are good. The lotion is good. It even came with like this special body loofah. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. You put it on your hand. You put it on your hand and you like scrub your body yeah. after a day at the beach. Yeah. That was nice too. Yeah. But the shampoo was awesome. Yeah. Body wash, I loved it. Yeah. It's called something botanicals. I'll link it, but. Okay, let's, uh, let's go grab breakfast. We're gonna head over to the reef to Starbucks, Ashley? Yep. I'll grab some breakfast. A little bit of a overcast, but... Um, I would rather have it be overcast than sunny because actually it's like really blue skies. Yeah, it is blue skies. But it's comfortable, it's very like comfortable. It's brutal when it's full sun. Yeah. But it does feel less humid than it has in like June's in the past. I just remember the last time we came in June, it was like oppressive. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I was pregnant with Paxton, but it was like really hot. And then last Maybe year the we storms. were April, April of last year, 2022. We came April, August. We've never been here. Well, we, we came, came in, in August, August and it poured ship. rain. Yeah. All day, like yesterday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, in April it was hot too. I, I liked it in April. I think that's like my preferred time is April. Yeah, for Massachusetts. So school vacation week is I think third week of April. I think March would probably be a comfortable time, but we've also come in November and January before and it's like iffy. Like I remember in November we had a really cold day. We still like went in the lazy river and everything, but yeah, I remember it was cold. cold. And January, same thing. Like. One day would be cold, and then one day would be beautiful. So, kind of have to be careful that time of year. Yeah. So we're heading over to the reef. Just this building here to the left of ours. I hate when people hang towels on their oh, yeah, balconies. I just think it looks so scrubby. So we're getting ready to order. I just wanted to show some price points for um, the food. An egg and cheese on an English muffin is seven. Sausage, egg and cheese, uh, English muffin is seven seventy-five. dollars croissant sandwich, ham, egg and cheese, seven seventy-five. dollars Peter breakfast sandwich is eight twenty-five. dollars Muffins are five bucks. Croissants are four seventy-five. dollars And they was, they were not listed, but uh, I'm assuming they're probably around four or five dollars. We have like desserts over here too. Some sandwiches. This looks more like a lunch sandwich to me. Uh, I eat 50 for these sandwiches. Uh, coffee. It's like your basic regular price is 450, 485 for a small, for a tall uh, coffee frappuccino. So we're gonna order and uh, get out of here. The line's pretty long. Uh, Actually, got uh, really long after we came in. I do have some options down here as well. They got some fruit water, uh, some boost drinks, and then some um, cranberry apple and an orange juice down at the bottom. All right, we got our coffees. 
I got a Fenty caramel macchiato upside down. I actually got a tall. And we both got the breakfast sandwiches on an English muffin. And then um, there is a VAT tax included, uh, which was $2.68. It is a 10% VAT tax. Um, they did ask for a tip. I just threw in a dollar because I was put on the spot. <laughs> so the grand total was $30.43 um, for breakfast for two people. So. That's not crazy. It's not crazy. I mean, there's definitely like breakfast sit downs that you can go and spend $75. Yeah, but when you're but... paying for a family of four or five. It's... Yeah, it definitely adds up. So we don't need anything big today, just something quick um, so we can go get situated uh, enjoy the nice weather while we have it. All right, we uh, popped over uh, to Ashley. Wanted to grab a case for her cell phone. I forgot uh, but mine. What and this is this? like key. So if you're coming to Atlantis. Oh yeah, let's show. These are key. Make sure you buy one ahead it's of time. It's an aqua case. So you put your phone in there. It's completely waterproof. It has an, a, a neck um, yeah. lanyard. So I'm just going to open it. Thank you. And I'm you can actually, actually. Can you open a black one if you have it or the blue? You can press the buttons on your screen through the plastic. Uh, but yeah, this you is awesome. Response? I didn't even realize. Right on the side for me, please. The uh, little hut over here, they have like beach toys and balls and buckets. I know, I never knew this balls. existed and this is awesome. Trucks. I used to bring the kids beach toys when they were smaller. Um, yeah, this is a nice little spot over here. All right, we grabbed our wristbands. Uh, wristbands are exclusive to Which people. Which tower you're staying in? Yeah, so people stay in at the cove can use the um and it has like your check-in date and your checkout date on there yeah let's see that says today's date actually uh but yeah the uh people stand at the cove can only use the cove pool the cove and the reef is exclusive to this cove beach and this pool area and the adult only pool area and these are the cabanas over here uh, doesn't look like we are going to be able to get one. It looks like we're on the wait list and she said everyone took them, so it is what it is. And then here we have the adult uh, pool. Um, it's really nice. Play some music here. Um, good morning. Guys, this is so relaxing. This is so nice. I love it here. I'm like... I brought a book. I'm not even reading the book. I'm just sitting here just staring off into the ocean. I don't even want to close my eyes because it's like so gorgeous. Yeah, the weather is perfect too. It's not like humid. It's not humid at all. It, there's like an overcast, but it's not cloudy. There's a breeze. Um, I was going to show the sun, but um, yeah, there's a slight breeze. Um, beach isn't really packed with like people and stuff so this is the cove area beach this beach is exclusive to cove and reef guests only and they do kind of patrol it you have to have the cove or reef wristband but there is another cove right on the other side called paradise beach and it's very similar to this one yeah um i think we're, we might go for a walk to check out the property and Maybe I want to look at do some lazy rivers and water slides. Yeah, I want to walk Predator's Tunnel. I want to say hello to the dolphins. Ashley has a long bucket list of things that she wants to I see do. and do. So we're gonna do whatever she wants. Today's her day. Also, I wanted to show you guys out in that corner on the left-hand side of this little cove. Um, there's a white lighthouse that, if you've cruised into Nassau before, you've probably seen it. Um, it's kind of like the welcome home when you're porting in Nassau, but Royal Caribbean purchased that land and they're going to be opening their own private island here um, on Paradise Island. Which so, will be a, they'll like, um, they'll be like boats. There uh, yeah, there will be tender boats tender going boats. back and forth from the cruise dock over to this section of Paradise Island. So I'm curious to see how it's going to change, like, the dynamic and just, like, the sereneness of what Atlantis has going on right now. Um, but I'm also really excited because it makes me sad when people say they don't get off the ship in Nassau. 
um, and the, or that Nassau is like their least favorite port because they got off the ship and all they did was wander around the straw market or the fish fry um, because we love Nassau. Well, we love Atlantis. We love Atlantis. You know, we like, loved Sandals, too. We did, yeah. Sandals was wonderful when we went to that property. I just think the Bahamas has some of the best water the, in terms of clarity that I've seen other than, like, Turks and Caicos. Um, I love the water here. Actually, yeah, you can Virgin like, Islands has nice water, too. You can be, too. like, waist to chest high and still see your toes. Um, and it's not murky at all. Like, yeah. I love it, um, Aruba, but I know sometimes that Palm Beach can kind of get a little bit murky. I don't know if it's the type of sand they have or just because it's so many boats and so many people in such a small area. Um, but you never run into that here. Yeah, absolutely. updated uh, since last April. Yeah, and, they, just, uh, they shut it down for a long time and they just reopened it. This is like one of the best splash pads that I've seen at a resort for kids. Yeah, we'll walk around to the other side and get a little closer, but um, yeah, this is nice. Tons for them to do. This is usually our <laughs> spot over there. It's good for like small kids and bigger kids like Nolan and also we would just like set up shop here and then it's so close to other fun things that the bigger boys can do, like, yeah, like these the small slides, slides over here. The lazy river is down that way. Um, and there's food and drinks right over there. The bathrooms are right over there. Um, yeah, everything's really close. And also, they have like a kiddie slide here. Also, I want to point out that they have life jackets. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of like a one size fits all though. So if you have smaller well, they, children. They do, they do have like smaller sizes. Yeah, but they're limited. So if your kid is like particular, um, then I would bring your own. But they do have some that Look at this line for uh, Towel. towels. And this is crazy. That's why it pays to come down early and grab it. And in good shape. This is a nice little spot, perfect location for families. Um, great idea on them on adding this here. So the other thing that I think is worth mentioning is they have lifeguards everywhere. So that's awesome. And they have two new, uh, two more cabanas over here on the other side, uh, right in front of the splash pad. So this is uh, a great location. Cases that the kids love to play on. Um, it's one of the biggest, well not one of the biggest pools, but one of just like more of the quieter pools here on property. Um, but I love it, especially at the end of the day. It's such a good one to just sit and relax and kind of just let the kids actually swim. And it's never really crowded either. And again, they do have two lifeguards. Um, and they have bathrooms close by and food and drinks close by too. So that's a plus. Plus, if you turn around, you have like the most amazing view of the Royal Towers. Oh, I see a coming soon sign, Shake Shack. This yeah, is that a looks good. awesome. I, I've always said, you know, this part is still like up and lively, and um, but this like once you turn this corner, 
Um, it definitely needs like a little bit of work. It, I remember the first time we came here, like it was hopping. 15 years ago, I think it was like the spring, or it was your co college graduation trip, which was May 2008. Yeah. And the beach was packed. Like this whole area was just like crazy. The um, the dig um, aquarium does let out over there where those uh, people are standing right there. Um, and it does connect in uh, to uh, the tower. So you are walking underneath the aquarium. Into the lobby. Yeah. But um, aside from that, like. But that's loop. a great spot. We've seen weddings there. Yeah. Um, it's like a nice little convention, like get together party, recital, rehearsal kind of space. Reception. You know what I say? Recital? Yeah. I don't yeah, want to walk dance that recital. Way I know. I don't want to walk this way either, but I do just want to kind of touch on what I was talking about. They do have some water sport activities here. Yeah, yesterday people um, were saying that they were snorkeling in the lagoon and a manatee popped up right next to them. Yeah, so actually this is more lively than I had seen the last two trips we were here. This is this is great. I mean, this is a legit lagoon. Um, I love this area. They have stand-up paddle boards. They have the big water trikes. They have kayaking. They have snorkeling. Um, yep. Tons of options, and if you have a child that's kind of scared of the open ocean, because the Royal Beach on the other side can get kind of can get kind of rough. Let's take a look at it today and see what it's like. Yeah, um, definitely one of the best beaches I've been to. But to your point, this lagoon is very calm, like no crazy waves. It is shallow uh, for a good portion of it. You can see some families hanging out over there, so um, definitely a good option if you're little ones are uh, afraid of big waves and yeah. also for peace of mind for mom and dad and it's all natural ocean water too yeah, so we'll kind of like show you how the water comes in and out over the bridge yeah um but it is a man-made lagoon yep well, let's head that way now guys so here are some options for some excursions that you can do on property um, they have everything from the water bikes in the lagoon like you just saw the kayaks the stand-up paddle boards they have scuba lessons if you want to get scuba certified. They do offer that on site as well. You can snorkel the reef. You can do snuba. Um, they have scuba trips that you can do. You can walk inside um, the pyramid with walking with sharks. Um, so they do have tons of fun things and encounters that you can do if you're interested in. Check this one out. We've had some guests do that in the past. And they love that. I am absolutely shocked uh, and impressed, and I love the fact how busy it is over here. Um, like I said before, like I've walked by and this has just been like abandoned and empty, and it was always a shame to me. I'm like, this is such a nice spot. Like I don't know why families don't utilize it more, and families are utilizing it more. It's this so is nice. this is amazing. I love seeing families popped up over here. Look, you got people bringing towels and blankets. You're sitting under palm trees. Such a your, protected yeah, area. your kids are like playing in, in the water. Also a great spot to learn how to snorkel too. Yes, you really absolutely. don't have to worry about anything scary being in here. They do have nets over the bridge that kind of block anything out. Yeah, so this out. is the bridge that we just walked over and that's where the water comes in. They also have a the lifeguard ocean, there too who kind of monitors. Yeah, he's sitting in a kayak. You can't really see him, but you make sure that no one, no one goes uh, past the, the but bridge. But also sea life too, because he's sitting on a net. Yeah. Absolutely. So they do have a lot of sports here uh, that are not associated with. What's up, man? Uh, Welcome to the Bahamas, man. How's it going? All day. Keep going too, buddy. <laughs> so jet skis, $120 for half an hour, $200 for an hour. Banana boat, $40 per person. Tubes, $50 per person. Snorkeling, $70 per person. And parasailing, $100 per person. Uh, and we also do swim, swimming with the pigs. Swimming with the pigs? Oh, you guys do that from here too? Yes. Nice. How much is that? Yeah, Two fifty per person. Two fifty per person. Snorkeling. Nice. You go snorkeling, sightseeing, you get drinks on the boat and everything. Awesome. How long of an excursion is that? Like two to three hours. Okay. Awesome. And you get to feed the pigs, buddy. Nice. What's the name of the company again? I know we've used it before. Royalty Water Sports. It's absolutely something that we've used in the past. I absolutely recommend it to all our followers. I yeah, Ash has done the banana boat before and I've rented jet skis. Yeah, we did jet skis. And they do uh, accept cash and major credit cards. So if you're ever staying at Atlantis, make sure you come down to the beach here and uh, check them out. It's definitely worth it.
guys, right off uh, Coral Pool is Predator's Tunnel. Uh, we actually haven't been able to uh, find the time to walk through it the last two times we were here, but... I love Predator's Tunnel. Ashley's a huge fan of Predator's Tunnel. Ooh. Scary. I'm scared. Alright, finally getting to the good stuff. Spiny tail lobsters. Is this big dome um, has uh, like a restaurant and bar, and uh, the inside of the ceiling is so cool. Maybe we'll stop for a quick drink. All right, guys, uh, made a quick pit stop here at the uh, bar. Sorry, I was looking for the name of the bar. But I, don't I think see this it. is like Poseidon's. Um, again, last two times we were here, this was completely empty. I don't even remember it being open. This is where we had lunch the first time we ever came here together in like 2007 on a cruise. 2008. We came on the Norwegian Sky. No, that, I thought we came here with your uh, family. Oh yeah, that was the very first time we came here. But then we came again. On 2009 for your birthday. Yeah. On the Norwegian Sky. The, uh, the first one was a Carnival Triumph that we did in, two, in That was Paul's first ever cruise. May 2008. That was my first cruise. Fell in love with cruising then. Uh, but it yeah, was, this takes. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can. I was just gonna say how much work it was to try to get you to agree to go on a cruise. I know. I was, was always so against, against cruises, it. but now I'm just like I could go on a cruise every month. I converted month. him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little spot. We just figured we'd stop for a quick drink. Ashley's getting her... I got the yellow bird. It's what I always get. Yellow bird. I'm not sure. Do you know what's in it? It's um, Bacardi, pineapple juice, orange juice. Nice. And I'm rocking the Sands Light, which is the local beer here. They do have a Sands and a Sands Light. Um, Paul likes the green can. Yeah, I like the green can. I like the color of the can. It's a lighter beer. If I'm drinking a couple during the day, I don't want to be like wasted or like bloated and heavy. I did when we walked up, but yeah, this is a nice little spot. It's uh, really cool here. Uh, you get an amazing breeze from, from the back. So the, nice. The ocean is literally like right behind us. There's hammerhead sharks also swimming all around us because we're kind of like on a little island. Yeah. That's and awesome. I just see hammerheads like popping up every little while. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, I think, go hit up the Lazy River uh, after this um, and uh, explore the water parks a little bit, maybe. See if we have time. The weather's held out so far. It's been beautiful today. It's been not after a, Yeah, it's not I know, but it's been perfect. So not too hot, not cold at all, no clouds, slight overcast, beautiful breeze. I think it says 88, uh, but it feels like it's 80. There's absolutely no humidity whatsoever. I think those storms like really help keep it away. Absolutely. So uh, going to enjoy these drinks before we continue the tour. All right, we walked back over the bridge. That's where we were having drinks back at that dome. And we're walking back this way. Um, as soon as you go over the bridge and take a right is Shark Bites, which is another great uh, pool bar and grill with a fantastic menu. Yeah, I like shark bites. And the pool. The pool, I th think, is probably the most popular. The grotto pool, yeah. It's definitely the most popular, so we're going to go check that out now. So they do have an additional Starbucks here. I think, if I remember correctly... I want to get lunch here. After here right now? The, oh, okay. After okay. So I think they have three Starbucks on property. They have one have at the Coral. Well, I think four, at least. 
Um, they have one at the Coral, one in the Marina Village, one at the Reef. They have this one. I think that's it. Yeah, but it's a huge... Uh, They're always all bumping. Always busy. But, and you um, kind of have to seek them out too. Like, I don't know, they pop up in unexpected areas. Yeah, this so one is actually pretty popular people. by the pool because people are just fiending all day for caffeine. <laughs> Uh, this water slide is the, there's two separate ones. You go drop, and then you go through uh, the shark tank, and then there's another one you do with the two, uh, which goes a little slower, but also goes through the shark tank. Oh, um, we should do a double on that one. Oh yeah, we should do a double. I think last time I did it, I screamed like a little girl, and Ashley said I ruined the video with all my screaming. But uh, let's take a quick walk over here to check it out. And uh, it is a legit shark tank, as you can see this shark swimming right by. You do, um, this is the one you go down with the two. You kind of get stuck a little bit, so you would have to kind of push yourself. And then on the other yeah, side, sure. there's a two oh, you, oh, yeah. Yeah. that um, you go on the, the big drop. Uh, tons of sharks in here. People will actually come and do the walking with sharks here. They'll actually do, um, take this ladder down to the bottom and then walk with sharks here. But yeah, it's awesome. So this is the pool. Like I said, very popular. It is absolutely packed over here. I think Every it has like day. some of the best views. Yeah, definitely some great views. Tons of chairs, but they do get taken up really quickly. People are down here pretty early. The um, pools don't open till 10. Oh, wow, so not like super early. Oh, be nice. Just never seen a, such a hairy back before. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't making fun. That I was would just be like, you if I didn't trim my back here. Yeah, I wasn't making fun. I was just I've never seen a back so hairy before. That was just <laughs> intense. But yeah, here's the view that Ashley was referring to. Pretty good, if you ask me. another popular bar and grill. We got quick food to go and drinks. They do have some smaller pools here on the left hand side. And then um, there's some so lockers over here. So one other thing here. that I want to mention, you can buy the refillable mugs and I think they're like $20 ish um, a piece for the refillable mugs and it'll be good for the length of your stay and you're free to refill it anytime. But they also have free water at all times and if you buy a drink, just like a random drink in a plastic cup, you get free re refills for the entire day. They actually tell you, hang on to this mug, you're entitled to free refills. So, I don't know, depending how much like soda your family drinks, either is a pretty good option. Absolutely. They definitely want to keep you hydrated. Yep. So we're gonna rent a locker so we can store some of our belongings that we have and then we're gonna hop into the Lazy River. There are a few access points to the Lazy River and we're gonna get in here on this end. So we're gonna try to do a full loop. Okay, we're in the Lazy River. GoPro is waterproof. Let's, I hope this thing works. We'll find out. Too much spinning. What do you think so far? Is that fun?
a wave. Here's another access point uh, to come into the Lazy River. I think this is access point four. And then this one, you actually have to take a ramp. Yeah, it comes right there. But yeah, we're taking a... Uh, I can't. Can we go on that side? Thank you. Okay, we're literally going up a conveyor belt in a cave uh, to drop down on the other side. So. Stay tuned for this one. this one. Oh no. And I lost Ashley. Let's see if I can hold on to a rock to wait for her. Oh, I did it. Okay, we're reunited. Now we just need another bump to uh, go down. All right, we're ready. Give us a little push. For the next set of, oh, sorry, oh, the lady caught a foot to the head. Uh. Woo. River, and I just realized that's hammocks over here. I don't think I've ever seen them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six hammocks with chairs. This is awesome. It's a nice little setup. Cool. All right, this is one of the two hot tubs. Uh, and it is cold. It is a cold tub. Only two hot tubs on property. Uh, that seems to keep them warm. I feel like they do that on purpose. I don't know where Ashley's taking me, but uh, I think she took me to the kiddie pool. I'm not going down kitty slides. You have to? Okay. We're going down kitty slides. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. I think there's a weight limit on this thing. I'm not moving. Ooh, it's deeper than I thought. Actually, thank you so much for that shortcut. What a great way to get around a property. All right, this line is massive, 
and Ashley's hungry and we do not want her to get hangry. You said you were hungry. I'm hungry, but I'm really worried about you. I don't want to wait in that line. Yeah. The key is to just make sure. No running. She doesn't go too long without eating. Hey, uh, Future Paul here. Ended up cutting the video short um, right here at this point because had I continued, uh, it would have been over an hour. And uh, I don't think people like watching vlogs that are over an hour. So uh, part two is right after this. Make sure you tune in and see what we did for the rest of the day. Uh, and once again, anyone new to the channel, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and safe travels.